Hello, and welcome back to the Take a Sip Podcast. I'm Tito. I'm Leche. And welcome back to, you know, Take a Sip. Uh, what are you drinking today, Tito? Today, I'm drinking Angry Orchard Crisp Apple. What about you? I'm drinking a Down East, you know, uh, something from here, from Massachusetts, actually, from close here, from Revere. Down East? Uh, yeah, Down East, bro. Nice. What flavor? Um, Which flavor like- is this got? It's the double blend. Uh, dang, what flavor is this for real? I don't think it's, it's it really says the flavor on here. The cans are good. I don't normally say that. It's yeah, it's red and black. This one's red and black, but it's really good. I freaking love this cider. By the way, it's a cider. It's not just a beer or anything like that. So it's like, yeah, that's it's really good. The angry Orchard is a hard cider. Hard cider, yeah. yeah. And on this episode, we're going to be going over movies. Movies for the end of the year, starting 2021. Mm-hmm. And see where, where things go. Still, unfortunately, with due to the pandemic, a lot of movies set back their release dates or even filming uh, had to get paused, unfortunately. Yeah, for a long while, for m- multiple movies. Yeah. Well, um... <laughs> You can say I'm a big movie fan to begin with. So I've watched Mm -hmm. dozens of movies, not even before this pandemic, but I mean, during this pandemic, oh man, I've caught up on so many movies. I probably wished I watched and not so I'm like caught up with everything. Now I have like nothing to watch movie related wise. So, well, at the beginning, I, I, you know, I had like a nice streak going. I caught up on a lot of we both actually caught up on all the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> yeah, rewatching yeah. them. <laughs> you rewatched them. I saw them all for like the first time completely, no interruptions. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty special when you watch it that way, to be honest. It's so like, oh man, it feels weird, but it's it so really, cool. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> um and then so well you've actually seen the whole MCU movies as they came mm-hmm. out in that order Mm -hmm. i just recently got disney plus and watched them all in order literally chronologically in order from what they have to be to uh infinity Mm -hmm. war that itself is just an accomplishment on itself because that's just just the sheer valuable movies you have to watch just to catch all of them in order that's insane man (laughs) <laughs> and I did yeah. it all in a week. I think how many, how many movies is it? Like twenty plus twenty? It's like twenty one, twenty two movies. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. That's insane, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> and you managed to do it, yeah, within like a short period of time too. Yeah, it's, well, that was before I started working, so I had nothing but time, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we dive into like movies or upcoming movies let's talk about some like what our favorite types of movies are Ooh, like our favorite movies or like genres let's start with genres and then we'll go into what movies like within that genre we like and then maybe we could do something else talk about what other movies that are like opposite of what genre you like it that you actually like if that makes sense like the genre you hate but there's one movie that is in that genre that you actually like Ooh. if you have one i know that's difficult <laughs> yeah, yeah that's really hard yeah okay, so a little fact about me as a little kid i was terrified of watching any type of horror movies oh i know yeah, I I know. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and I blame like instantly hands down the one movie I completely hate. I cannot watch anytime I see a poster or anything of this movie. I keep scrolling on my phone or I close my eyes. It. I hate <laughs> it. I hate uh, classic cloud. Pennywise. Cloud. <laughs> Terrify me. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember our parents put in the the reruns of the classic, 
like the old Pennywise, the one from like 1970 something. Yeah, that was that was crazy watching it as a kid. To be honest, yeah. And that, <laughs> me. that, that was the reason. Like, I I liked watching Blair Witch Project. Like, I remember that was our intro to like horror movies. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I I enjoyed that. Like, there are some that I kind of enjoyed that from the past, but Pennywise like guard me to the core. Yeah, that's that one movie that you're like, oh, never again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think it was a few years ago when we went to go see Sinister. Oh, the first yeah. one or the second one? The first one. I Probably think. the first one. Yeah. yeah. Because that was like when you, like my sisters and your your brother and your sister were like, you want to go watch Sinister? And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's go. And that's kind of like when things turn, like I don't mind watching them now. Like if they're on, they're on. Yeah. You realize like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. You realize what the horror actually is. And you're like, you know, this, it can't get worse than what I watched before as a kid. <laughs> it's us. We're the horror in this world. <laughs> um, um the step in movie that made me enjoy these. I love horror movies. Ooh, hands uh, down. Yeah. I love my horror movies. Not just, you know, I don't like the whole gory stuff. No, if it's movies that actually rock me to the core that make me, you know, my spine tingle and get me like the edge of my seat type of scare horror movies. Those are the type of movies that actually like I really live for. But definitely horror movies bring me closest to that. The one movie in particular that I remember that got me into really good horror movies was the original English version. No, the Japanese version of The Grudge. That's the I remember um, one yes. of my cousins showed us that movie. I think think back when I was like seven. I even remember how old I was when I first watched that movie. Yeah. And wow, I was like, oh my god, dude, what? What is happening? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, God, dude. it scarred me. I got so scared. But because of that movie, I loved just that feeling of being scared because yeah. it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. How, I don't know how you did it. I, I can't. I couldn't. That's why I'm, I'm more into the, the comedies, the rom-coms. Romantic comedies is my genre, by the way. Um, my number one movie that I will forever love, uh, The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, that movie's pretty good. That's my movie, especially Betty White. Look, I oh love my Betty. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite scene in that one is when they're in the woods, Sandra Bullock and uh, Betty White. I think that's one of, to be honest, I think that's one of my favorite rom coms as well. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I kind of hate rom coms because they're in in my eye, they're all the same. Yeah. Well. But I, yeah. It, it's they have the same premise almost to me. So I'm like, uh, I mean, most horror movies do too. I mean, most it kind of it's hard to make an original script at this point because everything's been thought of. You just right now is just hoping that the actors actually reenact, you know, add some their flair into it some roles here and there, but no, definitely that movie in particular, I really do love because it is freaking hilarious <laughs> across the board. <laughs> uh, freaking Ryan Reynolds, just him in general is hilarious. <laughs> I, I still find it hard to believe he was, dete- he was the voice for Detective Pikachu. I know, right? It's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? I, well, I didn't even... I would have never pictured him doing a role like that, to be honest. I, didn't. I was... I was with the rest of the fandom that wanted Danny DeVito. That would have been freaking hilarious. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Yo, I would um, love to see the movie re- re- redone just with his voice as Pikachu. That's, yeah, that's, that's a whole other movie. That's I not really our one, one, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want him to swear. I mean, that's the classic DeVito, so. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, and then, like, like, a recent movie in that rom com. Uh, genre that it, that we just recently watched uh, last Christmas. Yeah, I I really enjoyed that movie. I don't know why, but I just love that actress. Yeah, yeah. 
You like the actress. I like the actress. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, dude. This movie caught me. And it was good, dude. I really low key, it got me. I was like, wow. All right. It made me feel. It made me feel. <laughs> yeah. I think it, it really me and did. your sister were like literally in tears by the end of it. Because we, we love movies. Yeah. Like me and my sister like freaking spend our time. I always ask her like, hey, what, what are we watching today? Or what are we doing? What are we doing? You're not doing nothing. Let's watch a movie. Like even if it's movies we already watched like a thousand times, we never get bored of watching movies. One hundred percent. Those are the best. Those are the best movie nights when you can sit down with with your siblings mostly, and then just like rewatch movies. I remember me and my sisters used to have movie nights too. Like when we whenever we got the chance to. Yeah, it's just I feel like movies just bring people closer to feel. You know, a connection, even though I think that's the premise of movies. Just to feel. Just to feel. Make <laughs> you feel certain ways. <laughs> well, okay, mad so, deep right there, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> well, if we're going to go into movies that make you feel, I, I, don't, I don't know about you. I'm not going to speak for you, but for me and my sisters, like the two movies we always like watching together. Or like we'll just have it on like in our rooms, but we're all watching at the same time. Is the Titanic movie? Oh, I know. Your sister tells me all about that. <laughs> yeah, Titanic. Titanic. She said she watched that over three times, and she would not get bored. I'm like, yeah, really, dude? Oh, That's yeah. like a four hour movie. Yeah, <laughs> really spending an entire day watching that just three times over. <laughs> I still remember when the movie came out. It was on two video cassettes. Oh yeah, because of how long it was. Yeah, it was enough. Not enough. Uh huh. And yeah. then uh, the Selena movie. So yeah, yeah. And, that one was really yeah. long too. Yeah, uh, that's it's long, but it's a good movie. Like, I think the one that all three of us could agree for me, my brother, and my sister that we could all watch and probably rewatch it like three times over is probably Endgame, dude. <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Yeah. yeah, because Ezin's very picky in particular with his movies. He's the really picky one in, uh, when it comes to movies and whatnot. Yeah, we were supposed to have him, but it's it's a little too late. It's past his bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Grown boy needs to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, I don't think he's a grow anymore. He's already bigger than both of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, let's go into movies that are up and coming that we 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 can't wait to watch. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of them, dude, that yeah. are kind of like near, I want to say more 2021, because the ones this year aren't really too, they're not really catching my attention too much. All right, well, well, we'll go to 2021 then. I'll, I'll say a couple. I mean, unless, you, unless you have ones that are coming 2020. I, I have a few, I mean. That, you, that you're keeping an eye on? Yeah. Um. So the new one is literally just recently came out, like I believe a week and a half ago. Uh, the new mutants. Oh and, yeah, yeah, I've seen the commercials about it. Yeah, it, it actually seems really cool, and I read a it's little. It's the bit. it's the first horror movie, correct? If I'm like mistakenly that they're trying to make with them the. Yeah, so they're trying to make it like X Men. X Men horrorish type of thing because, um, from what I've heard and a lot of reviews that I've seen, it does take a few twists and turns that are a little unexpected for like a mutant type movie. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's when I actually want to go see right now or find a way to watch it. Um, mm -hmm. another one, I think it got pushed <clears throat> back. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was Wonder Woman 1984? Right? Wasn't it supposed I to come out this month, but they pushed it back till October? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's I, uh, Wonder Woman. I love DC. I spoke about it. I spoke a lot about DC. I think yeah. the last episode or two episodes ago. Yeah, but I mean, DC, hands down, definitely has the better characters overall. No yeah. lie. Mm -hmm. Like more flushed out characters. I just really do wish they brought them. To you know the the film scene better, that's all I want. 
Yeah, like their they, animated, like their animated movies, like we spoke about before. They're are, amazing. Like, they're amazing. Of course, they could turn that into like a real life type of thing. Yeah, I don't see why they can't just turn those freaking animated ones and just replace them with real life people. Literally, just make them reenact that stuff. I really don't see how it's not possible. I think it's just a lot more, especially considering like sometimes for a lot of those movies, it's just it's literally all. Like literally, this new one that just came out, uh, Dark Side, Age of Dark Side, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it literally had the Teen Titans, the Justice League, oh, like even like um, the the Suicide Squad was on that. Like it had a lot of characters. So you imagine That's true. You know, the the, the, the budget, like, yeah the the budget must have freaking go insane. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Like that. <laughs> oh, Jesus, like. <laughs> I don't even want to think about the number that's going to be to hire all those actors, all the extras, and then the actual... Can you imagine how much Marvel spent on Endgame, though, with all those actors? (laughs) But, I mean, come on. They got got the mouse hack back in the mode with that money, though. True. (laughs) Marvel has the mouse hat, so they're they're covered in all ends on that point, so... (laughs) Well, speaking of Endgame... Another film is actually the Black Widow movie. Oh, yeah. When is that coming out for sure? Yeah. Well, I kind of spaced out on that. Yeah. yeah. We'll get to see Scarlett Johansson take the mantle up again for Black Widow, probably for the last time. Um, to what I know of, it is supposed to be released in November 6th. Yeah, that's still slated for November 6th. <laughs> yeah. And then... Not the- sure if they're bringing that in theaters, though, right? They might do what they did for Mulan and throw it on Disney Plus for you to purchase. I don't know because I do, like, I think they are saying, like, again, we're in Massachusetts, so a lot of Boston movie theaters are trying to reopen up right now, like, very limited. Mm-hmm. So, they, and they, like, you know how you get to like choose your seats, so they'll obviously have like set seats to watch. Mm. Um, sure. To like keep social distancing rules. To be honest, I think you know what's funny about all this. Not funny, but I mean, about the movie theater scene, mm. the the theaters, the actual big, you know, deluxe theaters. There might be falling right now, but surprisingly, the drive-in movie theaters are booming. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, They're coming back because they were dying a lot, and mm-hmm. they just you know recently because uh, recently because of all this going on in the world, they've been booming like crazy. Yeah, if only I drove. I wish we could have. Yeah, them. same. <laughs> but, but even still, then, uh, Kowloon's the restaurant on Route One. Mm-hmm. They uh, when like. They were able to do like outdoor seating and then partial indoor seating when that was like uh, started up. I know they like blocked off part of the parking lot, obviously, to like have outdoor seating. And then I'm pretty sure they set up a giant projector with like movies going so people were entertained for something. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's actually pretty amazing for a restaurant to do that. Yeah. So I think they, only, they were only doing like nighttime hours. Um, oh, so people can watch like dine in and eat type of thing. Exactly. That's, that's pretty dope. That's that's yeah. that, that's a good like marketing technique to bring people in and whatnot too. It's like, hey, watch a movie and eat. You know, you guys can do both things here. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. That's, that was really smart of them. That's uh, mm. mm-hmm. um, going back to Black Widow. So the, again, the premise of the story is after uh, Civil War. So it's like. Because you know, it's how, an episode war? I yeah, it would be, yeah, so it's oh, after, yes, after it's... Civil War and before what is it, Infinity War? Infinity War, yep, yeah, so it's like because you know how like they split up into Iron Man and all of them, and then Captain America and his side, uh-huh. and the, gov- the government was like, if they don't sign the treaty, they're traitors or whatever. Yeah, they're traders of the company. I mean, of the United States, whatever. Of the U.S., yeah. So it's pretty much like after 
So after Civil War ended, like what she was doing between then and Infinity War, because you know how she shows up right when um Scarlet Witch and oh, why am I blinking on his name? I thought this that movie took place before Civil War. Uh, the Black Widow movie. Yeah, I thought it took place um actually even before like, Avengers. No, but so I think I it, could be wrong. I think it's after Civil War, but it hits on those notes of how she became Black Widow, how she became this Russian spy that backstabbed Russia, is now on the run because all these she has a bounty on her head or whatever, and then joining like the Avengers. Joining Shield and all that stuff, yeah. Shield, yeah. So I think it hits those notes and what what she was doing between like hiding from the U.S. after she was considered a traitor from what happened in Civil what, War. What I'm gonna like about this movie too, it's gonna be a little bit more grounded, and by that I mean it's not gonna be you know we don't have Iron Man, you know we don't have Thor. There's no magic. There's no it focuses ridiculous. On her. Yeah, it's more, it's going to be more, how do I put it? Tame. Tame, yeah. <laughs> like, there's no magic, there's no overcomplicated gadgets and stuff yeah. like that, or at least I don't think so. Yeah, just, I mean, she's a spy, so. Yeah, she's her own weapon. Exactly, so that's going to be pretty dope to see, the choreographs, choreograph men and all that stuff. Like, that's going to be pretty dope to see, to see how those fighting scenes are going to pop up and whatnot. Exactly. Um, now for 2020 I do have two more movies um, one is possibly being moved to 2021 I'll get that one to a bit but this one um, this is hitting back my old drama club days um, the drama nerd musicals is uh, yeah. the w- remake of West Side Story you know what? No, no, I don't. Sorry, no. <laughs> and it's it's so West Side Story is almost, I believe, like another version of a Romeo and Juliet type of story. Hmm. Like they're both affiliated with two different gangs who have this major rivalry. It is a musical, like mm-hmm. I said. So weird things happen when you're in a musical and you're in a gang war and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> You, yeah, because one minute you're all fighting, next thing you're all singing and dancing and, and choreography. And then it only ends because someone gets stabbed. And no one expected to die. Oh, yeah. Um, but on top of that, Juliet and this. Yeah. <laughs> they expected to die, they both died. <laughs> well, okay, let, let's be real. Both Romeo and Juliet were very overly dramatic teens. Yeah, <laughs> like Shakespeare, how could you? It, it literally could have been taken a whole other way, but they both exaggerated. Love. That's literally the excuse, young love. Be like, that's not an excuse, man. Yeah, <laughs> you're being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so what's that story is also being, uh, cool though. They're making like a full feature length movie like that. Yeah, it's, and it's being directed, oh. but uh. By Steven Spielberg. Wow, that's that's huge. <laughs> yeah, so I, I can't that's wait. Huge. To see what does with the West Side oh Story? Oh my god, dude! Story. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, he doesn't add horror horror out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> James <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Michael Myers, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it literally just pops out. Just a little sneak peek here. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Like, no. <laughs> you, think, you, know, you know he's gonna put those little things like in the background. Like oh, like yeah, Easter eggs. He's always freaking famous for Easter eggs in his own movies and whatnot. Yeah, um, oh, that's cool. Those, yeah, yeah. And then going back into the horror genre, um, it's Candyman. Yes, yeah, that one did get pushed back. I, so yeah, I believe. it was supposed to be released on October. Um, it's still not confirmed completely, I believe, but there is word of it being pushed back uh, to 2021. So what I'm, what I read was the movie's done, but it's 
I don't know what's the holdup. It's probably some post production stuff that they probably haven't finished or they're looking for someone, some company to release it with them. Probably. Mm-hmm. That's what I've heard. You know, there's rumors speculating on that movie like that. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely it's definitely gonna look interesting. I seen the trailer and all that stuff. It looks really good actually, to be honest. Yeah. It's a good uh a spiritual sequel or a prequel, or whatever it's gonna be of oh, yeah. the movie. So yeah, man, I I've seen the original Candyman. It was it was not more f- my forte, but it, it's definitely a good movie. Yeah, like, as a horror classic. Yeah, but this one does look like it's gonna be crazy that I've seen. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, I definitely want to see how they take they modernize this story of Candyman now. Mm-hmm. Since it was, I think the original was back in nineteen ninety, nineteen nineties. Yeah, I, I want to say nineties. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, huh. I mean, I hope they don't screw it up because yeah. there's a lot of people that like that movie. So, oh, yeah. it's definitely gonna be hard. Um, so let's start twenty twenty one. You said you had a bunch of movies for twenty twenty one. So, oh, take there's a, a lot, dude. Yeah. Take the wheel, bro. <laughs> Let's start with something we'll probably be more familiar, both of us on the spectrum, um, would be DC and Marvel movies that are potentially coming out in 2021. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Um, let's, start with, uh, let's start with DC first. So there's a couple of movies. Um, I know they resume filming for the Batman, the new Batman that's going to come out. With Robert Pattinson. Yep. Mm-hmm. But that's that's still slated for 2021. That's a hope that that still comes out in 2021. Yeah. The one I want to get more into, though, is the new Suicide Squad they're going to yeah. put out. Yes. And even, like, a game is coming with this movie as well. Yeah, which is, like, strange, <laughs> to be honest. But it, there's so many characters, so many, a lot of people coming out in this movie, which is kind of funny. You know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's it's definitely a big mishmash of actors, actors, and let alone the, the again not to trash DC so much, but I mean, I I honestly didn't think there was gonna be a Suicide Squad two. Um, I know to be honest, yeah, Suicide Squad one wasn't really the best movie out there. I wouldn't give it a hundred percent that it was, you know, great. Yeah. And I feel like they kinda they kinda in the trailers they it was misleading to be honest because I was hoping it was a different enemy mm-hmm. you could say. But you know um but you know some of the people on this freaking roster that are coming out are kind of, it's kind of crazy, you know, like we have Margot Robbie returning as Harley Quinn, of course. I mean, I feel like that's there. That's the franchise face right there at this point. I, I actually <laughs> like her as Harley Quinn. She's a great, you know, Harley Quinn. Dude. I don't, I can't picture anyone else as Harley Quinn. Exactly. Like you can't see Wolverine as someone else other than Hugh Jackman. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like whoever takes his, you know, position as that yeah. has a sh- big shoe, like a boot size shoe to fill in. <laughs> so, but it's like she, she, she was like I loved Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. Mm-hmm. I, actually, I actually thought that was a really good movie, but that also had a lot of bad reviews, and I don't. It had mixed reviews, yeah. Very mixed reviews. I did kind of wish Canary did find her abilities a little earlier in the film. Um, but so like I, I actually, I actually enjoyed the film. Like there's some like surprised cast in this movie where I'm like, really? They wanted to go be part of this movie. Like Idris Alba. I'm like, what? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I heard about Idris. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. gonna be, I definitely want to see how they incorporate a lot of, a lot of these actors. Yeah, and then there's like two that really like took me for the loop where I'm like, what? Like, wow, why? <laughs> like, Pete Davidson, 
and uh, John Cena. Those two caught me off guard entirely. I was like, <laughs> what? Really? I forgot about John Cena. I saw a... You know how people make, like, the, the fake edits? Yeah. <laughs> of, like, posters? So they literally grabbed the poster from Suicide Squad 1 uh-huh. and photoshopped John Cena in as John Cena, like, not as a superhero, <laughs> not as a supervillain, as himself. As himself. From WWE. And literally posted Suicide Squad 2. Can't wait to see. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if John Cena just showed up in the movie as himself, and it, like I would, I wouldn't ask questions. I wouldn't question. I wouldn't question it either. I'd be like, "All right, dude, all right, that's fine." John, John Cena, dude, <laughs> Let's kick, some, kick some ass. I'm, I feel like I can't take him seriously, <laughs> dude. That just kind of a messed up thing to say, though, because John Cena, I think he's funny. He's a funny dude. He, uh, yeah, he definitely. I don't think he wants to be taken seriously. I don't even think while he was in WWE, he wanted to be taken that seriously. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I love John Cena. He's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm surprised he actually has like good acting. Like, no, no he's I'm, a fantastic actor. Surprisingly, for sure, though, he's really picked up the mantle on that. Yeah, like in uh, Cock Blockers, that's a he was so good in that movie. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> you see, I feel like it's, just, it's hard to see him in like a more serious role. But hopefully, if this is you know quote unquote a more serious role for him, I hope he really does a good job on it for sure. Though uh, I hope so too. I'm like right be I'm cheering for him. I mean, it's getting directed by a freaking you know uh, DC nerd, freaking James Gunn. So oh yeah. That's the guy that wrote the, that wrote and directed the, I believe he's the one that did the Guardians of the Galaxy, and you know how that turned out. So, mm-hmm. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. hopefully, think- he blesses that movie the same way he did with that. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, mm-hmm. moving from from DC to Marvel, they have slated the Eternals coming out. Yes, Eternals this year. And so, even Eternals has a big lineup of names. Like, just two alone. Two queens of queens. Salma Hayek and Angelina Jolie. Yeah, it's just like, wow, dude, they're joining the MCU, dude. I'm like, what is this? Disney's about to own the entire, entire list of freaking Hollywood actors, bro, on their category. On their, what is it called? Uh, catalog. <laughs> At this point, I think it's a requirement. You have to play a role of a superhero, whether it's DC. <laughs> it really, a legit. Yeah. Actor. I wouldn't be surprised dude, at some point, bro. <laughs> it's really amazing, though. Though it's it's exciting because you're like, wow, you know, I didn't even think these actors would actually, you know, do anything with these companies or these. Yeah, like okay, they're fans too, but not to like be like. Yeah, I'll go for that role. I'll take the name of this person and put on tights and spandex and pretend kick ass. Like, no, I, I can't. I can't wait. I want to see. It. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. That's gonna be. Oh, Esbian's gonna be talking so much. Uh, he's gonna go back into his theories and whatnot, conspiracies and whatnot. <laughs> And we're like, oh my god, what's this gonna be about? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, I don't want to get him started on that that stuff. <laughs> I think this episode would have been much longer if we did have him on. Oh my god, dude, he will ramble on so much about more about conspiracies than the actual movie themselves. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely with Eternals, it's definitely gonna open up a lot of more doors and more comic series uh, for the MCU. Um, well just marvel movies in general like seeing how filming goes and where they take these lineups because they're already like just making minor changes to the eternals from what i was able to see like normally the leader is uh, a male figure and now and is now be, gonna be portrayed by Sama hayek so a female lead so i definitely want to see where they take these these roles. Yeah. There's uh, a few more 
I mean, DC, not DC, sorry. Marvel has a few movies, you know, that are speculating. Hopefully, you know, they keep their timeline as, you know, that they put that. I think they had like slated three or four movies this year alone coming out or 2021. Sorry. Or phase four. For phase four. Yeah. So another one they have coming up is Morbius, which is a little bit less known of a character for people. It's literally just like a. He's an anti-hero. He's like the Deadpool equivalent to DC, pretty much. I mean, to Marvel. Mm -hmm. But he's a vampire. So, I mean, that one's a little bit more low-key, but it is played by Jared Leto, uh, which is kind of huge. Yeah, sorry, Jared Leto. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a huge deal for him since he's literally moved from DC to Marvel. So uh, that's That's kind of I don't know. That's going to work for him. (laughs) Oh, wow. You know, so I saw I saw I did see something from Morbius, but when I read it, I thought it said Morpheus. I'm like, oh, oh, they're bringing- oh Matrix. <laughs> well, I mean, they, well, the Matrix is coming back, supposedly. I mean, I think you know, Keanu Reeves kind of, you know, spilled the beans that he's making a fourth one, supposedly. Oh, wow. That'll be interesting to see, I mean, him back into that role. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be continuing from where it got left off. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be weird. Uh, I think another movie that they have listed for 2021 is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Yes. So Uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of controversy for this one, too. Yeah. (laughs) Considering, like, like, even when the comic books came out, like, there was a lot of backlash with uh, Shang-Chi's uncle um, being, like, like, the the way they just drew him and put a lot of of like his lines i guess um was very uh racist against the chinese people mm-hmm. so definitely bringing that to the movie screen is going to be a big issue and even now it's... with a lot of political things going on in the world it's a very mm-hmm. touchy subject it's it's kind of be a hard movie to make yeah i'm on you with that but what I'm seeing by the cast and all that, they're making the right picks by making, you know, picking Asian, uh, Asian inspired, uh, like cast pretty much. The entire cast is like a of Asian descent. I mean, I don't want to get into too in particular where they're from and all that stuff, but I mean, you could clearly tell they're from Asia and stuff like that. So, so exactly like as, as a viewer, as of like a lover of movies especially both of us being first generation American, like it, that's all we ask for more representation. Like mm-hmm. if you're going to do a movie with Asian characters, make sure they're Asian. Asian. Characters. Because it makes sense. You know, it makes you visualize those characters more as what they are, because that's exactly how they were written. So keep them written, you know, the same way. And then as viewers, you could be like, wow, I see people like me on TV. Like, that's how you yeah. get dedicated viewers because you're doing things right. You're representing these people who have little to no representation half the time. Yeah, and who knows, yo, maybe this movie can inspire a young person and be like, wow, dude, this, you know, this young asian actor playing this huge role in a you know marvel movie like <laughs> oh man you know it could inspire them mm-hmm. and then wow. vice versa if someone's black or hispanic or anything like that it really does you know make a good it makes a huge difference exactly like like i like i remember going back to scarlett johansson when she was uh the when they were she was announced to be the lead for ghost in a shell there was a lot of backlash, yeah. A lot of backlash. Like, I felt bad for her a little bit. Yeah. Because, like... She was taking the hits, even though it wasn't really her fault. <laughs> exactly. But she was also... And, but she was also aware of what... Yeah, which was what, the problem with that people had. Because she was aware, and she really did nothing about it. Exactly. She still did the film. And I get it. People need jobs or whatever. But... She's a major A-list actress. Like, finding another role is not going to be hard for her. 
mm-hmm. given to these Asian actors who are losing their roles for the people they are to like, unfortunately, Scarlett Johansson, or let's say if Robert Downey Jr. He was another one. He also had a big bet. Like, how did we not realize he did blackface in Tropic Thunder? Yeah, but I feel like there they knew from the get go. I feel like people knew and they pushed that narrative that it is a joke from the get go and people picked it up though. And to be honest, people people respect Downey Robert Jr. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Wow. <laughs> I know. Uh, so much for the name. Yeah, I, I I mess up his name so bad. <laughs> No, but I feel like he's one of the most respected actors, and people, I don't think they'll freak out if he did that. I mean, he's Iron Man, for God's sake, for people. He's that first before anything else. Okay, but if we're going... Okay, yeah, no, I'm not going to open this can of worms, because we're not doing policy. I get what, <laughs> no, but I, I get what you mean, though. I do. And yeah. And people picked up, like, other people doing blackface in other movies, and they got backlash from it. But you're right. He did He did for some... He did get backlash, but not that bad as other people, though. Which I find dumb, because at this point, at that point, it's a double standard. Like, here are two people. They both did blackface. It, it's fine for Robert Downey Jr. He's he's famous, and then the other person gets backlash. Like, I he, think... Uh, the D-list actors, like no, like mm-hmm. all the same. I think it just depends on the premise of the movie. To be honest, if the movie explains on why he's like that, then in, and if the viewers actually watch the movie, then they understand it. And I think that's all that's really need to be said and done. But if there's people, you know, fucking yeah. things they want to like actually fight about with no context, that's a no context. Yeah. Then that's a whole different situation, though. I will also give it to them because Tropic Thunder was pretty much like one giant parody movies, kind of like scary movie one through. You see what I mean? That's like, like that. that's what I mean. So it's like it was meant to be something like that, and yeah. I feel like that movie is great. That movie is freaking hilarious. <laughs> I, 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 that movie is yeah, amazing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, going back to Shang Chi, so. In the comics, the Ten Rings are literally ten rings. Mm-hmm. Uh, to the comic book universe, it's ten rings that almost have the same amount of power as the Infinity Stone and the Gauntlet. Um, to what I know of for the, for the movie film, I think they did adapt the Ten Rings to be... Uh, I believe like ten different like mafia groups that Shang Chi is gonna have to like work his way through a little bit because I do. Yeah. Think they mentioned it a little bit in. Um, I know in Iron Man three they kind of with the Mandarin kinda, with the supposedly quote unquote the Mandarin. Yeah, that wasn't the actual Mandarin from the actual comic books. I think that was just like a. A like a tease. Yeah. Yeah. So like be like, oh damn, are they gonna do it? Yeah. They even tease the Ten Rings name and all that stuff and what Yeah, so that's why it's gonna gonna be an interesting way on how they make this work. I really do wanna see it though, because I feel like there's gonna be like a lot of kung fu stuff, which I I'm a sucker for classic kung fu moves and like movies like that, so it's definitely gonna be interesting to see. And I hope it's really adapted well. I mean, yeah. it's a Marvel movie, so it's definitely going to have the cinematic, you know, mm-hmm. well, it's, to it. Yeah, and it's not just Kung Fu. I mean, he's just a master of hand-to-hand combat, like of all sorts of martial arts and stuff. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I, I just want to see that. I just want to see how that's going to play out and pan out. Yeah. Um, speaking of martial arts, I know, I, I I know you showed me your screen really quickly. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, dude. So yeah. supposedly it's rumored. I don't know if this is in development or anything like that, but supposedly they're remaking, um, or redoing. It's getting the redone, you know. Yeah. The reboot, pretty much, of the classics from the nineteen 
80s? 1980s? Yeah, I believe so. Or 1990s. I think it was 1990s, actually. Um, yeah, but it's it's getting pretty much the redone. So we're, I'm hoping it's, awesome. it's going to be better, completely better, if it's a real-life one, like a realistic one, or... I think it is. I don't think it's going to be like... Um... Like CGI or whatever. I hope they don't rely on it too much, though. You get me? I hope they keep the Kung Fu, all that martial arts stuff intact, but then add that flair of, you know, like if they need to add CGI for like stuff like that, then they do it. You can't have Scorpion without his spear coming out of his hand. Like, yeah, hopefully they don't make it like they did in the, in the classic ones where it's like a little snake. <laughs> that was kind of, yeah. I killed the mood real fast for me. <laughs> I just can't wait to hear Portal Combat. Du, 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 du. <laughs> this is a classic, dude. <laughs> uh, I, hope, I, hope, I hope they go with that. I wonder if they're going to get the stories from the game or if they're going to make an original story to it. That's what I want to know. Oh, that's a good question. Because, because if they make an original story, then that's going to add like a lot of thing on their side, it's going to be beneficial on their side if because they could have like a, it's gonna open like up the books a stuff. bunch of stuff. Yeah, seriously, because they could probably, if they make an original story based in the Mortal Kombat world, but introduce like, I don't know. I'm thinking so much stuff for this movie. Like who knows? <laughs> who knows? They could go anywhere with this. Hopefully they have some good premise on it though. Yeah. Or at least they find a way to tie in into the games because they definitely would like to see those uh, characters, the characters we love, you know, to see. Yeah, yeah especially right now with the recent Mortal Kombat, I, w- I would love to see uh, Liu Kang and Raiden like fused together. Yeah, that would be awesome. The what is it? What in the game is the particular name he has? What is it, Lord Lord Liu Kang? <laughs> I think so. I, I I haven't I haven't played the game in so long. So. Oh, man. No, but who knows, man? That gets me excited because you know, that's one of our favorite games. So, yeah. that's, uh, okay. I mean, even the first classic <laughs> Mortal Kombat was great, but the second one was like, uh, this game was bad. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, like you said, I hope they they deal with it well and, and find a way to like open the doors instead of just making it a movie that's just going to get brushed off to the side after everybody watches it once. Going back to going back to what uh, we talked about Candyman, there's other horror movies that are coming out that I'm looking forward to actually that are coming out this year, hopefully. I mean, 2021 that are coming out. There's supposedly that it's already in post-production. I've been following this so, because I freaking love this series because it's pretty, pretty good lately. <laughs> Is the Conjuring, the Conjuring, the Devil made me do it. Ooh. That's what that's what that movie is called. So I'm following up on that to see um, when that's coming out and what the premise for that is. But I'm hoping that comes out this uh, next year. Another horror movie that's it's already completed and but it doesn't have an official date to come out is the sequel for Halloween to the one that came out this year, 2020. Or 2019, I believe, the remake they did. Uh huh. Yeah. So a lot of horror movies are definitely a lot of them are going in the right direction right now. With yeah, I feel like they fixed horror movies because there was a long time where they were making really bad horror movies. Yeah. They they sometimes seem like they were also just spoofs of themselves. Like Mm -hmm. they didn't. I like they didn't look like they like the films were serious themselves. Yeah. And I feel we thank the movie that actually started to get the horror movie genre back in track was the original Conjuring, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After that, I feel like people were like, oh my God. All right. This, these people did it right. Let's, let's just copy the formula they did pretty much. And yeah. they've been doing a great job in horror movies, in my opinion. And I'm freaking living for that. So. <laughs> Uh, another horror movie. It's crazy how many horror movies that might come out this year. To be honest, it's so two. It's all you. I know, dude. It's crazy. Uh, another two horror movies. One is called Antler, 
which is like an indie film actually. Um Antlers, yeah. It's it's a uh, it's pretty much the premise of the movie is um a middle school teacher and officer become like are isolated in a town of Oregon and they're like surrounded but it's a small town, whatever. It's one of those movies. But then like you know, stuff goes wrong, like and then a boy uh, his dad, like he finds out, transforms into some creature at night or whatever, and he tries to like protect his dad while people try to hunt him down, but his dad is like killing other people. It's just oh, it's a crazy thing, dude. It's insane. <laughs> I seen the trailer for it, I was like, wow, dude, this is that looks ridiculous. It, it sounds ridiculous. I kind of want to look it up now, too. But this one, this is probably the movie that's gonna. I hope if they do this movie right, it might change the game for horror movies for sure. They're remaking The Exorcist, the original yeah. film that came out in 1973. And I well, think they might do it like scene by scene, like re- make a good reboot. But of course, with t- t- today's technology with CGI and all that stuff. So. Well, that, I don't know about you, but that's also scary to think of because. Oh no, I know. Like, if you remember the original Exorcist, there were so many things going wrong on set for that movie. I know. It to have something like that going on now is just super scary to think about. But it's 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 right now. It's in the rumor state. I don't think it's gonna come out this year. But it's still it's probably still being written. To be honest. Yeah. I've been following a lot of movies, so <laughs> sounds like not it. just not just horror, but definitely like you know movies that I that interest me and whatnot. So, mm-hmm. uh, I know that's that's my sister's all time favorite horror movie, the original Exorcist. Yeah, so no, that's definitely something to keep an eye out for. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have another one, or can I bring one on to the table? You're good. So another movie, uh, it's also a movie that I liked watching with my dad growing up, besides the whole Matrix movies. Um, the Blade movies are also getting a reboot. Again? Another reboot? So I don't think there was there another, was there a reboot before? No. For Blade Runner? No, not Blade Runner, Blade. Oh, Blade, Blade. sorry, yes. He's he's a, he's a Marvel though, right? Yeah, he's Marvel. So, but the thing is though, like the main actor from the original Blade movies, um, he was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Like, I would love to take up the mantle again and like be part oh, of uh, of the. Is that him? Yeah, Wesley Snipes. Yeah, that's yeah. the original actor. <laughs> yeah, he would like to like take the role again and become part of the Marvel universe, like. <laughs> fight Thanos if he needed to. Like I think he, those were his little words. He would like to take up the mantle and fight Thanos. Um, but instead of like bringing him back on, I think they're just rebooting it completely with a whole new actor. Um, so that's a, definitely a movie I want to like, see how they do. Like, mm-hmm. I want to watch the original trilogy. And so trust. what's that? If they do add Blade to the MCU, that confirms that there's vampires in the world. Pretty much. Of the MCU. Yeah, that's, that's crazy point. to think about it. <laughs> well, they, you- also have, they also have mutants. You've got to remember, X-Men is part of the Marvel Universe. Yeah, but they haven't been introduced inside the MCU yet, though. Which is so dumb. Why do you not introduce the X-Men to fight Thanos? Well, I, I feel like I know, right? That would have been crazy. I feel like it's because of the whole licensing issue in the background with yeah. Sony and stuff like that. But since all that is already good now, they will probably eventually. I hope so. But it probably would be after Phase 4, most likely. Yeah, I think it has to be after that. No, but back to Blade. That mm-hmm. has to be a rated R movie. I don't I mean, see a, that movie being PG-13 or anything like that. There's no way. Well, you can, well, they're rebooting it, so they could probably take a different turn to it. They could be uh, probably no blood or anything like that, like yeah. the original. Yeah, they'll just like turn to ash. 
once they die or something. Man. But that original Blade, you know, it's just... Yeah. That would definitely <laughs> want to see how they do with that. Yeah. that Yeah, that one's definitely an interesting one. Mm-hmm. And then... So the, these two are, like, uh, sequels to two other movies. One of them is... Um, a Quiet Place 2. Mm-hmm. Yep. A Quiet Place 1 was a great movie. I love that movie. I, I completely enjoyed it. I also cried at the end. Just um, the chemistry of the cast is just fantastic. Oh, and that's why. Yeah, like yeah. Little to no... I mean, it's husband and wife directing it and acting in it. So, <laughs> you know, the chemistry has to be there. True, but I mean, like, even with the kids, like... The kids were phenomenal yeah. actors as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so agree. see a quiet place too. I I I can't wait to see it. Like just the trailer guess, that they've shown so much already has. I like that they're showing a little bit before what happened, mm-hmm. which is it, you know entices people. A little snippet here, a little, a little nugget. <laughs> Like, so this was a normal day before, and this is a normal day now. Yeah, literally. Like, it's... Hey, I, I, I have definitely no- going to turn up the suspense, though. It's definitely going to turn up the suspense. No words. I, I just want to watch it already. <laughs> um, and then another movie, I again, that I loved watching. The original, the first movie, was Avatar. Not Airbender, not that crappy. Let's talk, hold on, let's, let's go back to not having Asian actors or dark <laughs> actors in movies. That's a good example of That's yeah doing that. <laughs> of not what not to do. <laughs> of what not to do exactly. But no, I'm talking about Avatar, the blue aliens on. What were they on? Pandora? I think Pandora. The mm-hmm. planet was called. Yeah. Uh, they are working. Well, I think they're still working on Avatar 2. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah, but from what I know of, the, it's not set to release until December of 2021, unfortunately. Oh, wow, but right in the end, huh? Mm hmm. So I still have a little over a year to wait, but. That'll be great. That's gonna be a great movie, dude. I already know it. I mean, the first I mean, in general. I feel like it was great because it was. We've seen nothing like that. Like the brightness, the colors. So it was amazing, just visually. It was appealing yeah. like crazy. And that was like the first. I believe like the first time they did like the full like. Facial recognition, CGI transformation. Yeah, I think it was the first time they actually fully implemented the entire thing, yeah. CGI like that. Like implemented and fully succeeded on. They were like pretty much the catalyst for everything forward from there. Yeah. When it came to movie CGI. Like, oh, so that's the end of my list. I don't know if you have anything else you want to add. I got one more movie and oh. this is and this is for my favorite my all-time favorite one of my all-time favorite series of movies to watch which is the Jurassic Park series. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so right now they're continuing filming on the new Jurassic Park movie that I've been keeping up with. The plot they still haven't released anything but how the last one ended ended with uh the dinosaurs getting released into you know suburban areas. Uh, so I haven't watched it. God damn it, Tito! No, <laughs> you didn't tell me. <laughs> you didn't tell me, Why? man. Trust me to get. Oh, I didn't. I didn't tell you much though. That's little. Telling you that doesn't mean shit. You have to watch the movie though to get to see how they got to that. Yeah. Trust me, that yeah. movie is worth watching though. The 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 one before the this one, but. I- another movie I should like another series we need to watch all the movies again oh I did dude already (laughs) I do trust me dude I freaking love Jurassic Park man the original 1995 movie my god that's literally one of me one of my favorites dude my dad freaking makes jokes with me watching that movie because he freaking (laughs) loved it too 
Yeah. He's like, he, he's amazed on how they even accomplished this back then. That's what I like to say too. Like just the, the practical effects back in 1995, you know, all the work they put into that movie was great. It was amazing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, there's, there's a lot of movies. This is what we spoke about is literally just a few of the movies that we're excited to watch. And I feel like we could talk about movies all day, though. <laughs> oh, we really can. If it, if it was at 1.30 a.m. and my parents are sleeping next door, I think we would continue this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> all righty, folks. Thank you for listening to Take a Sip Podcast. Again, my name is Tito. You could follow me at one alpha penguin on Instagram. And I'm Leche, and you can follow me at Leche Minuesa on Instagram. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention. Uh, you could also find us now on. Oh, let me get this. Um, iTunes. I know we're on uh, Amazon Music now, and we're also on Spotify. So get our episodes on those platforms. Listen, leave comments. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you all for listening to us. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye.